4.35 Saturday afternoon, and is it, can I call it a local derby between Moana Pacifica and the Fijian and Drua? Oh, it's certainly going to be a celebration of Pacific Island rugby, you know. Um, what better way than, than to start with a home game against our, our Fijian brothers. So yeah, it's going to be a, a huge occasion and um, hopefully we'll get a crowd along to, to help us celebrate uh, the occasion. And I know both teams are certainly a lot better prepared. Um, been in touch with McBurn and I know they're, they're a lot more confident going into this year and, and we certainly feel like we're better prepared. Uh, players are a lot more mature and a bit more experienced now going into the second season. So... That's going to be an exciting occasion on uh, Saturday night. No, oh, look, I've got to say, I mean, as soon as you uh, answer that question, I've got so many more questions that come from it. For um, for a start, when you talk about a celebration of Pacific rugby, define what you what what that means to you. Well, I, I think just having having our two teams um, join the competition last year was a huge acknowledgement for um, the part that Pacific Island rugby has played uh, all around the world and. Not always to the benefit of um, Pacific Island rugby directly. A lot of it's been to the benefit of New Zealand rugby or Australian rugby or English rugby. And you see so many uh, Pacific Island players having an impact around the world now. So to be able to create our, our own side and do something for ourselves in, in such an awesome competition is a celebration in itself. And the fact we get to come together in round one um, this week is uh, just an extension of um, something that's already very special. Yeah, so is it is is is, is prepare? Oh well, how how radically different is 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 preparing this team as being involved with this team than your time at the Highlanders? Um, well, this team is is very different. It's very unique. Um, we're, we're very lucky that we have so much cultural capital to to draw upon and, and to harness and help infuse into our program, and uh, and then to get the high performance side right around uh, longer term uh, sort of vision and. We want to go as a club and, and how we want to be and then join that right back to uh, what we do today to, to prepare the team to kind of have a good performance in the weekend. So uh, there's a lot going on, uh, but it's yeah, certainly very different considering all those different sort of optics and, and dynamics that play for us, uh, which we're all very proud of and uh, we'll make sure that's um, a big part of our journey as well. Aaron Major, MP coaches with us, Fijian and Drua. That's the first game. It's Saturday, 4.35, Mount Smart. You're on the platform. 1996 is when this competition started I don't know how much you uh, actively vividly recall about it at the time but the Hurricanes were a side uh, that were cobbled together they were made up of a lot of, of the, the what we call the lower echelon sides they were the, you know the um, the Hura Whenua Bush you know Wanganui uh, you know, had money and all all kind of cobbled together is that do you get that kind of feeling in the first couple of years with MP as well that you're actually like you're kind of picking up perhaps not players that other teams didn't want but you've actually got to make the best with what you've got Oh, look, we're, we're really realistic around um, you know, the, the nature of our contracting last year. It was, it was a pretty short time between getting the licence and assembling the side for our first pre-season, but um, we're just super proud. Like We had a lot of guys come in um, to their first pre-season. Uh, bearing in mind, we actually missed the first part of pre-season last year due to COVID, so we got, got together three weeks before our first pre-season game. But the growth that we've seen in, in all those players... Um, we feel now that they're all at the level where they can be uh, competitive um, and then we could pick anybody in our squad to go and do the job. Uh, in reality, that wasn't the case last year because a lot of our guys have made the jump up from, from club rugby, so we're trying to really accelerate their learning uh, over a short period of time to be competitive against you know, some experienced internationals and some of the best club teams in the world. So you was certainly in a lot better place. Um, yeah, but it, was, uh, it was a pretty challenging and interesting journey uh, first year up. Look, and, and some of that has to be about damage control from your point of view as a coach, isn't it? Because the last thing that you want is to go out there and get belted by some of these sides, which are going to be better sides, better resource sides, a lot more experience in the game. Uh, but, you know, so do did you look at it like that at times last year, even though I'm going to ask you whether you're going to do that this year, but did you look at it like that and think, OK, part of it is that we've just got to actually be competitive? Yeah, that's right, and I think. Um, you know, given the context that we're in at the start of our journey, we had to be really realistic around expectations in, in terms of outcome and, and managing expectations as well. And I think we probably in terms of scoreboard, we, we exceeded the expectations uh, for, for many. Uh, but there was always a belief in, in our squad, and I thought our, our staff were outstanding, uh, our senior leaders were outstanding, and um, even through the defeats, uh, building belief in our game and, and celebrating the things that were going really well. And, it was always um, 
able to give us a positive outlook going into any given week. So, yeah, really proud of, of the first journey. And what it has done is, um, you know, through the pre-season, it's given us some good references around to be more consistent and, and build our capacity, then uh, we can have more of those outcomes and be pushing for um, some finals footy. Aaron, I don't know how to ask, ask this question. I'm going to ask it. If it's a bit clumsy, forgive me, mate. But look, I'm just thinking that, you know, when we talk about Pacifica, um, you know, you're talking about actually different countries, different nationalities, different cultures, you know, from country to country. It's not just throwing a blanket over it and saying, oh, you're from the Pacific, therefore you're all the same. Yeah, but we're, we're all connected, you know, and, and that connection is um, through, through the beautiful narrative of our, our navigation and uh, master wayfinders through the year that's, through the years, um, it's linked all, all of our countries together and ultimately led um, most of our, our people to where we are in, in New Zealand. So um, the history is shared, the narrative is shared through um, you know, some, some pretty impressive um, history and um, standards of excellence through through these wayfinders through uh, thousands of years ago we're talking about. So uh, we are all one, we are all connected, but yes, there are unique um, cultures within um, each each country, and, and we celebrate all those and, and fuse them into what we do daily. And I know that our Tongan brothers are all, always really proud to get up and um, present, you know, what's important to them. And our Fijian uh, boys, we've got a couple of Fijian boys in our group, the Samoan boys. Uh, we're acknowledging our Cook Island roots. We've got the Wayne and Buckle Islands, and um, and they're all very proud. And I think. Um, that's reflected in like our Samoan boys learning Tongan, you know, We've got some of our plays are in Tongan and Samoan and all, all those different languages. So. Wow. No, it's, been, it's been pretty cool to, to bring it all together. Look, I'm glad you said that because I always thought during the America's Cup, I thought, yeah, 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 racing yachts around the Gulf. You're going to paddle a canoe from Hawaii, mate. Do that. That's what, that's <laughs> what, that's what a race is, you know? Yeah, mate, and, and to be fair, a lot of our theming and a lot of the narrative that, that we've built our um, environment around is, has been tapping back into um, the standard set and obviously just the, the excellence and the craft that's gone into the building these amazing waka that has helped carry our people across the Pacific and into where we are now and the, the principles and the philosophies used around uh, wayfinding and, uh, and then you look at our the social and um, family sort of constructs and concepts that have and it's, it's all there, so we haven't had to tap into something that's that's fake. Haven't had to manufacture a culture. Uh, we've just, like I said earlier, just been able to draw on our cultural capital and really find out how we're going to use that as a strength in the high performance world. And and that's probably been one of our biggest challenges or focus areas is fusing um, high performance into um, all the all the richness of of our cultures and um, and trying to stand up a, a rugby team that can be competitive. See, it's a beautiful thing. Listen to you say that. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? I mean, it's so cool. Yeah, oh, it's exciting. And and we have fun. Like, we have a lot of fun doing that. And that's, once again, the, one of the strengths of our, of our people is being able to um, keep perspective. You know, when, when things are going well, uh, I talk about humility a lot. Humility uh, when things are going well, but also humility when things might not be going well and understanding what sustains you through your challenges and, and something you can really anchor yourself to and you look at um, the things that are important to, to our team is you know, family, faith and, and connection and um, yeah, the rugby is important uh, but it's not always the most important if we get those other things right then you know, the rugby results will, will keep improving and take care of themselves ultimately. Aaron Major with us, Moana Pacifica coach, got a couple more questions if that's okay and then we'll let you go after that. So ambition wise, uh, what to you is, is achievement this year, what to you is overachievement? Well, I think we're capable of, of playing final footy, and that's certainly, um, you know, when we took the, the learning from, from last year around where were the gaps between where we finished, which was 12 uh, out of 12 teams, um, with the ability of beating a couple of top six teams, a couple of really impressive wins, there were some, some winnable games that got away on us, so then you're looking at the gaps, um, and so what are those gaps for us, consistency uh, week to week was big, uh, we didn't have the the best of draws, um, to be fair, playing eight games in, in short turnaround, so that was a bit of a challenge, but it's probably held us in good stead for this year. Uh, so consistency, and then also consistency in game, being, being able to stack more moments and build more pressure and convert, and a lot of that come down to capacity. Like, we weren't fit enough last year uh, across the board, 
and our trainers have done an outstanding job. Every man in our squad is in a lot better shape than what they were coming into the first season. And we've all had another a year of experience and, and maturing as professional athletes. So, um, look, I'm excited where we're at this year. We've still got a long way to go, and, and our boys are aware of that. It's not just going to happen, and we're going to have to work hard to be, you know, in, in the in the finals sort of playoffs at the end of the year. But um, we're really clear on what it looks like for us and 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 how we think we can get there. And now it's just about going out and producing. So we get the first crack this week against the Drua and, and get a get a real measure. May I say that listening to you, it comes across to me that you that you feel that this is the right job at the right time right now for you. Is that the case? Oh, mate, I've loved, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, really special uh, group of, of people, um, a real team, a real family. And look, it hasn't been easy. Um, I'd be lying if I, I said it was easy. There's still so many challenges that we face. Because uh, we're still trying to establish ourselves as an organisation and put the right structure around ultimately our, our boys so they can go out and they've got everything they need to go and perform at their best. Um, but through those challenges, there's been so much fun and enjoyment and to see the growth that's happened in such a short period of time is, has been um, really awesome to witness and feel really privileged hey, to play my, my part in it. And finally, look, I know how important it is, your fan base as well, and connecting with that fan base and making that fan base proud as well. Running out there and hearing the drums and hearing the hymns and hearing the songs and seeing the flags and that. It must be, it just, it must be massive, mate. Oh, it's huge. It's huge for our boys. It triggers a lot. It triggers a lot of emotion. And that's probably one of the biggest things is, is getting the, the emotion right. Like there's, there's so much that, that our boys and our team can, can draw upon. Uh, but at game day, obviously, we, we want that to come out through you know, passionate actions and through that, that warrior spirit that's within uh, all of our players. Um, but learning to control that as well, learning to be smart around how we navigate through the game and and control the moments is really important. So it's been a big focus around uh, that for our leaders. And I certainly feel we're, we're in a better position to um, manage games this year. And like I say before, been a lot for us, certainly helps. Well, more power to you, mate. And I know that, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you're everyone's second favourite side and uh, look forward to watching with great pride how you play this year. All the very best of luck for the whole of the campaign and thank you so much for your time. Yeah, cheers, Dave. Always a pleasure to chat, mate.